What's going on everybody? I hope you're doing good. Today we're gonna train our arms, complete arm workout. What I'm gonna start with is my inner tricep right here to get that separation to the bicep. So what I like to do, I grab this neutral grip tricep extension bar. I'm not sure what to call it. So behind the head like this, full range of motion all the way up, lock out the elbows and go all the way down until your mobility allows you to and go back up. Go eight to ten times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, we're not done. We're gonna superset this because this is my third set. So, we're gonna grab some dumbbells, light dumbbells, and then we're gonna do the exact same. Elbows in, fully extend the elbows, and feel the burn in the triceps. Three, And before we keep going, let me promote myself first. I post my solo porn on OnlyFans. If you want the link to my OnlyFans, go click my Instagram in the description box and then click the link on my Instagram bio and then can check out my solo porn if you want to. Okay, all right, up next, we're gonna do some closed grip bench press. We're gonna grab a shoulder width grip. What I like to do, I just put my hands beside me like this and then I go straight up like this and that's my Close grip bench grip. And then I squeeze my shoulder blades into the bench so my shoulder blades are nice and stable and squeezed into the bench and then my glutes should always be on the bench as well and I should have a nice arch in my lower back and that's my setup. Challenging. <laughs> love it. I love it. Whew. Always keep in mind that you have to have good form to really maximize the result and not waste your fucking time, okay? Keep that in mind. Alright, now for some skull crushers. Same thing for skull crushers. Make sure your shoulder blades are nice and tight, just like benching. And then press the weight straight up. And what we'll do, we'll go behind the head. Usually, skull crushers can go to your forehead like this. But to have more of a range of motion, we'll go right behind our head over here and then fully extend our elbow up, squeeze our triceps and go back all the way behind our head over here and go back up. Let's go for 10 reps. Four. We're not done. Let's superset this, okay? Let's not mess around. Let's push our limits. We have a pair of dumbbells right here. All right, same concept. We're gonna grab them. Neutral grip this time for the dumbbells. Start up like this. Full, a, a, well, the elbows fully extended, and then straight down behind the head, and then fully extend your elbows again. Let's go for ten reps again. Two. Last but not least, one of my favorite exercises for triceps and one of the most important in my opinion to build a bigger chest as well is dips. So the way you can angle yourself makes a big difference in dips. The straighter your chest is, the more tricep activation there will be. If you tilt your chest a little bit more forward, it's going to activate more your chest. So let's get to it. We're going to keep our chest completely straight and then do the reps. Let's go for 15 reps. Go all the way down. All the way up, squeeze, and that's it. That's all there is to it. 
You go all the way down so you don't hurt your shoulders and then go back up. Everybody who's got different mobility, just do a range of motion that works for you. Oh my god, I gotta stop talking. I'm exhausting myself. <laughs> Let's hear our biceps. We're gonna do high volume bicep workouts as well. We're not gonna slack off. So grab some dumbbells heavy enough for you to be able to do eight to 10 reps. Let's get to it. We're gonna do them straight like this. Go all the way down, full range of motion, and then go back all the way up until you feel a full contraction in your bicep. Go back all the way down. Do it for eight to 10 reps. Three, full stretch, squeeze. Four, full stretch, squeeze. Five. Oh, we're not done. You really thought we were done, huh? No, 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 no. Grab some lighter dumbbells. Do eight to ten more right away. Let's go. One, two, three quality reps all the time. Four, five, six, eight, nine. Oh. All right. Now let's focus on isolating the bicep. I like to put my tricep completely against the back of the bench so I can isolate my bicep better and then I go about three quarters down then when I reach three quarters down right here I go back all the way up squeeze until I get a full contraction and that's really going to help you get that fullness that roundness in your bicep so I like to go for 10 reps on in average maybe 12 see how I feel three make sure you go three quarters down squeeze at the top four Make sure your back of your arm stays against the bench. Really focus on using your biceps only and not your triceps. Really isolate that bicep. 11, 12, and then do the other side. All right, to make sure we hit both heads of our biceps, let's hit some hammer curls. So grab the dumbbells, neutral grip, and then go all the way up, squeeze, go back all the way down, all the way up, squeeze, I, I like to go a little bit past 90 degree angle right here. Go back all the way down, stretch and squeeze. I make sure to have a full contraction of my bicep and I really feel a good burn in my forearms as well. Let's keep going. I think that's five reps. Let's go for 12, six, seven, eight. Quality reps, all right? Nine. No, jerk it. Eleven. We're not done. Okay, we're not done, go lighter, much lighter, and then keep going, keep pushing. Same range of motion, two, let's go for eight to 12 again. Three, four, five, holy shit. Six, okay, that's all I got, that's all I got. Thank you for watching, appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this in the future, leave a like on it, comment down below. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Push your limits, but do it safely and train hard. I already said that. Anyways, take it easy. Have a good one. <laughs>